Welcome everyone, I'm Darkhour717 and as we are all aware we are looking to get a big update here once 315 goes live. And it raises one question when it comes to one of the main features. Before I get into this though, stick around until the end of the video and you can find out how you can get yourself entered in to win an Ares Inferno in our September giveaway. So currently Vakity do have access for testing and hopefully within a couple weeks we're going to see it go to wave 1 in the PTU. I'm personally excited to get in and see what it offers and all the new features that are coming in and the new ships especially. There's a lot of things that are coming with it such as the Redeemer, the Ares Starfighters and of course the A2 Bomber which is the one I really want to get my hands on as well as very in-depth medical gameplay. Now this is really only a small portion of what we're actually going to see but one question I have as we all know we will be seeing the personal inventory system coming into play. Now this, with the first steps towards death of a spaceman, we know is going to produce us with lootable corpses. This means that our corpses, whether it's us or an NPC, are going to be able to be stripped of all of its gear. Now this is an interesting, long-awaited addition into the game and one I'm looking forward to. Though, in my mind, it does raise a couple of questions. As we are all aware from the Star Citizen Live, if you die, anything you're carrying will be lootable which means your weapons, med pens, armor, and undersuit. Now this is going to include your sub flare, concierge flare, or pledge items that were obtained using real life funds. By their own description, Star Citizen Live, these were going to be completely lootable. One point they did make was that you would be able to reobtain these items if you lose them through a kiosk or possibly a storefront in which you can visit and go and get them back. But a couple questions arise from this. One, being are they going to charge us a UEC to get these items back? Me, I'm perfectly okay in regards to paying some AUEC to get my items back because usually it's very low cost. If I lose my Ave Shrike armor and you want to charge me five, six thousand AUEC to get it back, no big whoop, at least in my opinion. I can definitely imagine there's going to be some people out there who will disagree with me. Obviously, there's always the character reset route that you can take, but I definitely do not recommend doing this, especially just to avoid paying a small amount of AUEC. The character reset should really only be used as a last resort in situations that actually warrant it. Second question I have is if someone kills you and they loot your sub, concierge, or pledge flare, they obviously are going to have it in their personal inventory, even though they didn't meet the requirements to obtain it or pledge it. So how long are they going to get to keep it for? Of course, this may also be a new way of showing off trophies over your accomplishments. Walk around with a gold piece of concierge flare, even though you're not concierge. Something you stripped off somebody you took down. Also, if I want my entire org to be outfitted in Ave Shrike armor, but not everyone's pledged for it, can I have them kill me, loot mine, and then when I respawn, I go and reacquire it and repeat the process until everyone that wants the armor now has it. Basically, outfitting my entire org for the cost of only one set of armor and pledge. Personally, I don't use my sub flare or my concierge flare as I'm not a huge fan of the design and I sub more for the backing of the development of the game, but definitely there are some out there in the verse that love to show it off and with pride. Will we see these folks less likely to wear it in fear of losing it or is it possible they may be more sought after as a target for what they can provide as a trophy? Now I think the fact that this is coming into the game is a great thing. I'm all for it. And yes, it is legitimate if you die, someone loots your gear, then so be it. You can use the resources provided in order to get it back quite fairly and easily. But what does it mean for the person that looted it? I did post a thread on Spectrum and the link will be in the description below if you want to check it out in regard to this question. As the post has been up for a short bit, there's been some definitely interesting opinions. One response from Smarty did point out that Star Citizen Live somewhat addressed the issue and links to the clips that he included will be in the description below, but what Smarty pointed out was that it was explained the items over time are going to have a decay rate and that includes armor, weapons, and things such as that. Now, they'll continue to decay until it's not usable anymore or you repair it. Now, I would imagine in the case of subscriber concierge and pledge items that are looted, it means that they will not be able to get those things repaired or reacquired if they don't legitimately own it. Which brings up the question of what would the decay rate be and how long would they have it before it's unusable? 
which of course would also vary based on how much abuse it takes while it's in their possession. Now the decay rate on armor and weapons is not in game yet. Not sure at which point they plan on introducing it. So in the meantime, what's going to happen with the items? And taking a look at the spectrum post here, like I said, there's definitely some very interesting opinions and definitely goes on both ends of the spectrum. In most cases, people have no issue with uh, the possibility that they could charge a UEC to get your items back. Me personally, like I said, I don't have a problem with it. And for the most part, it seems like everybody's on board with that. There were a couple of people who, who stated that they didn't like that idea. Also, it seems like a few people here mentioning that, you know, they just won't wear their concierge or their sub items in game anymore as they feel it might put a target on their back for it to be a trophy. Other people had made suggestions such as if you loot a body and it's got concierge armor on it and you're not a concierge that once you loot it, that it loses its flare coloring, meaning that it just goes all gray, kind of a dull color and you don't get those bright colors or, or shininess that you would get on, say, the concierge gold armor. And that actually seemed to be a popular suggestion there. Also, there were a number of people who had looked at it as being like other MMOs that pledge items or concierge items and all that should not be lootable, but of course, that's not going to be the case as they've already made it clear that they will be lootable. The benefit, I think, is that CIG has taken steps to make sure that if you get looted, you have an easy way to get it back at least. But check out the Spectrum post. There's definitely a long list of responses there and definitely interesting read to see what everybody's viewpoint on it is. In all, can there be a system that will address this? Absolutely. The decay functionality is going to be a big part of that when it gets introduced into the verse. And should you be able to loot and show off your prizes? Definitely. I think that would fall under legitimate self-defense if you get attacked and you take your aggressor down, you should be able to loot his corpse and show off your winnings for successfully defending yourself. And of course, if you're attacked and you lose, then the aggressor should be able to loot your body and show off his prizes as well. I would feel that that would fall under piracy. They're getting something, they're obtaining a prize for their efforts. As far as longevity, maybe a system where it stays while you're logged in and for a certain amount of time, much like a ship rental after you obtain it and then disappears from your inventory could be implemented until that decay function gets into the game. Or who knows, they may just leave it in until you know things get wiped again. There's really no word yet as to how they're going to work that from CIG. The time length that someone has that they get to keep it could mean the difference of how many go out of their way to take someone else's items. There's a couple of concerns that were in that Spectrum post that could lead to griefing, which is a possibility, I guess, but in, only in small ways. Though I'm not so sure this is really going to be a common concern or issue, I don't see it really occurring any more often than what it already is in the verse. I think a lot is going to be dependent on the time frame before we see the decay function in the verse to address the longevity of the items we loot, and it'll be interesting to see what route it goes in the meantime. I'll be really curious to see if we see a large increase in people walking around in items that they've looted to show off their prizes. But this was really a question that just popped into my head as I was going through all the personal inventory items and kind of wanted to get an idea of what people's thoughts were and feelings were on the situation. And I really want to thank everybody for their responses on Spectrum and giving out their opinions. It's greatly appreciated. But let me know what you think in the comments below and do not forget to get your entries in for September's giveaway. It's going to be the Ares Inferno. We're going to award that on October 1st. And of course that's launching into the verse in 315 as well too. And just uh, subscribe and leave a comment on any video on YouTube or you can follow on Twitch. You'll get an entry for each one. And if you do both then you double your chances. Good luck to everybody who decides to enter that. And don't forget catch our stream every Sunday and Wednesday night 7 p.m. Eastern Time as well as Citizen Con on October 9th as we will be broadcasting the stream with uh, commentary as we see each thing that gets presented through all the different panels. So check us out. Feel free to join us. We'll be taking questions on stream while we're broadcasting Citizen Con. And we look forward to hearing from you. And until then, everybody be safe and we will catch you next time.